Dark Age. This was a game that I played religiously every day for a good few months last year, and I kept saying to myself, oh man, I should really make an opinion video on that shit. And I never really knew how to start it or what to say, mostly because there's a lot to talk about with this game, being an open world MMO, and secondly, I just want to actually do something with the footage I captured. I have so much footage of me playing, I honestly don't just want to put it to waste. I want to upload it somewhere, but that's like 169 gigabytes of content to upload. Like, holy fuck, that would take so long. So, boom, opinion video, here we go. Arcage did a lot of things right, and also a lot of things wrong. But starting with the good things first, the class system in particular was fantastic for an MMO. It's completely open-ended and allows you to build whatever class you want. But that's not gonna stop people from min-maxing and finding the best combination possible within the first three days of play. And on that note, Arcage was primarily a player versus player centric game. The systems in place, not specifically relating to classes I mind you, allowed it to not necessarily be competitive in any sort of nature, but it was well designed and most spells and abilities felt fairly balanced, with only a few classes in particular lightly shining over others. There were definitely occasions where I would find one class dominating others, but all classes that could do decent damage generally stood a chance at beating others in a fair fight. Of course, you never really had a fair fight, that never happened. I in particular played something in between some sort of support and damage mage, which I later switched out for just more heavily damage based because there was no support. And that's due to a strange lack of healing abilities in this game. Everybody was generally on equal footing in terms of stats and sustainability. I could nuke people down, but they could also nuke me down just as easily. It made crowd control abilities essential as opposed to additional, like most MMOs. I actually liked this a lot. Nobody really felt like they were taking a billion hits of damage before falling down dead. It made PvP a little bit more exciting, honestly. My favorite thing about Arcage was how you were just free to completely explore its practically seamless open world. It was unlike any game I'd played in such a long time. With two sprawling continents and a massive open sea, with a third incomplete continent, there were practically no invisible walls, and you could just jump and glide around in any part of the world. Although sometimes, these areas seemed barren and destitute with not really much going on in them, the general sense of freedom and openness you got in Arcage is unparalleled. You could go from one continent to the other without a single loading screen. Along with having this massive seamless open world, you also had a lot of ways to traverse it. Of course, you had the basic land mounts, but you also had gliders, which were awesome because they didn't completely break open world PvP like the flying mounts in WoW did. They hit a nice balance, where they never really felt like they could entirely replace land mounts while still being extremely fun and useful to fly around as a whole. There were even some automobiles like steam and electrically powered cars and carts, and also ships, one of the main selling points for me in particular. The great thing was they weren't just static entities with no collision. Other players could actually stand on your ship as well. This was something that I didn't just want from an MMO, but from video games in general, I absolutely loved sailing my ship around in arcades. It just felt so comfy. Movement had this weight to it. It felt smooth. And since everyone had collision detection, it made things in the world feel more coherent and natural while walking around. It never really felt janky or weightless to control your character, like a lot of MMOs usually do. This is probably because Arcage is based on CryEngine 3, as opposed to some proprietary engine created from within the studio. Mechanically, the game just felt good to walk around in and play because it had such good tech behind it. And the game also looked pretty good visually as well, being on CryEngine 3. The music was alright, it wasn't really anything to be remembered for, but it never really fell out of place either. It's just, it's okay. The most interesting or unique feature about Arcage is the emphasis it puts on crafting and trading. As you can level up almost exclusively through crafting, you actually don't have to do much real questing after about level 20 or 30. I actually leveled up my character by crafting nothing but cloth robes later on. Since I had a subscription, I could just log on, craft my robes until I ran out of labor points, go back to my farm, plant the crops needed to make more cloth robes, and then just log off. But by the time I was getting close to hitting level 50, it was actually getting kind of monotonous to just do the same thing over and over every day. Although being a sandbox game, Arcage didn't really feel like it had that much content to begin with. Just a lot of stuff that's usually not seen or included in MMOs today. And that's about where the positives stop. You see, Arcage is an MMO. 
And that means if you're not doing crafting or something else sandbox related, you're gonna be doing the same boring fetch quests. Oh, and about a million of the same fucking kill quests! You might as well just rename the game to Kill Quest! Like, literally, fuck me! I've never played an MMO with this many fucking kill quests! It made doing fetch quests not actually feel like a chore for once! The questing system in Arcage is abysmal. <sighs> oh, and, and no, let's not forget, you're gonna be doing a lot of this. Oh, yeah! Spamming keys! Fucking one spell! A lot! I mean, that's the combat! It's tab targeting! I mean, I don't hate tab targeting, it's just at this point, I really don't like it that much either! It's not like every single MMO plays the exact same way in terms of combat! Oh, and I, uh, I hope you don't mind letting your frame rate drop with a bunch of other players on screen, because <laughs> that's the entire large scale PvP experience! I mean, this was great, nobody cared when this was Shelf Shore PvP 10 years ago, but not today! It's sad that this is an inherent problem with MMOs today in general. Too many players on screen and boom! Your frame rate just turns to shit! Oh, and I haven't even fucking begun to talk about the absolute worst part. You know when something sounds good in concept, but horrible upon execution? Well, that, that's exactly what the housing system in Arc Age is. Absolutely fucking awful! Let's make it so that players can place their actual houses down anywhere in the game world. Well, they'll love it! Good idea, Korea! Oh, but let's just give them a finite amount of space to place the houses in! Oh, but that doesn't even matter, because farms are more important. Houses don't actually do anything other than serve as a custom teleport zone. In fact, let's just give them such little space that players from all across the server have to search for houses of other players who didn't pay their taxes, who will then just crowd around said house and wait for it to combust so they can just place their own house down instead! Yeah, really good idea, Korea! I mean... I got one eventually through trial and error of clicking so fast that the plastic of my mouse fucking melted off. But that's besides the point. This system is so asinine! Why not just have multiple zones for housing areas that you can just teleport into? So the players can at least build a house without hassle. That's what Final Fantasy has and it works perfectly fine there. I mean, the game is free to play. They should have been expecting this many players and created enough space for housing in the first place. Oh, actually, wait, what am I saying? This game isn't free to play because more than half of the fucking game's content is practically locked out if you don't pay for a subscription! I mean, sure, you can do quests and PvP and- But you can't partake in any of the sandbox elements that actually differentiate this game from every other MMO on the market without fucking labor points! Which only go up while you're online at an extremely reduced rate if you're not subscribed! Oh, and you can't even build a fucking house either if you don't have a subscription! In order to do anything crafting or sandbox-wise, on an efficient scale, you need a fucking house or a farm. And you need a subscription to have a house or a farm in the first place. What do you fucking do? I hope you enjoy cool quests if you want to play Arcage for free without a subscription. Because that's all you're gonna do. Grind kill quests! The only way I actually got to level 50 is by abusing the crafting system. I'm not sure if it was intentional, but the amount of experience you earn from crafting is far more than anything quest related. If you want to actually have some fun playing Arcage, you need to cough up some fucking dosh for a subscription. Unless you find mind-numbing grinding fun. Oh, and let's not forget that half of the shit that was promised still isn't there. Where are the castle sieges? I never got to play them. Maybe they're there now, but I don't know. I haven't played the game in six months because I started to fucking hate it. The core experience of Arcage, while feeling and looking good, just ended up being the same thing I had played for the past decade with a couple new fancy bells and whistles. And while the bells and whistles are really pretty and enticing distractions, they're just distractions nonetheless. 